This video is an overview of how to replace the rear ball joint on a 1997 to 2003 BMW 5 Series. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well ventilated area and protect yourself from injury at all times. Before beginning, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. The repair technique in this video has been refined over time by a professional BMW mechanic. Before beginning, consult the repair manual and confirm that this procedure does apply to your vehicle. The rear ball joint is located in the bottom of the wheel bearing carrier. Remove the lower ball joint and integral link mounting nut. Remove the lower ball joint and integral link mounting bolt. Remove the integral link mounting bolt. Remove the integral link. Using a pry bar, lever down the rear swing arm so it rests on the bottom of the wheel bearing carrier right below the ball joint. Using a pair of vice grips, clamp the swing arm and the wheel bearing carrier together. This will prevent the swing arm from falling back into place. Remove ball joint circlip. New ball joints usually come with a circlip, so if yours is corroded and stuck in place, don't worry about damaging it during the removal process. Once the circlip has been removed, remove the rubber sealing boot from the ball joint. To remove the ball joint from the wheel bearing carrier, use the BMW Special Tool Ball Joint Remover. This tool allows you to cleanly press out the old ball joint and install the new ball joint into the wheel bearing carrier. Once the ball joint tool has been installed, Use an open end wrench and a ratchet to press the ball joint out of the wheel bearing carrier. With the ball joint removed, clean the ball joint mounting hole in the wheel bearing carrier. To install the new ball joint, place the new ball joint in the BMW Special Ball Joint Pressing Tool, reassemble the tool in the wheel bearing carrier and using a ratchet and an open end wrench, press the new ball joint into the wheel bearing carrier. Once the ball joint collar is flush with the wheel bearing carrier, remove the ball joint pressing tool from the vehicle. Install the new ball joint circlip. Reinstall the integral link using the upper fastener. Screw it in finger tight. Carefully release and remove the vice grips from the lower control arm and wheel bearing carrier. Using a pry bar, carefully release tension on the swing arm and allow it to move back into place. Using a drift punch, align the bolt hole in the swing arm and the ball joint. Install the swing arm bolt, nut, then properly torque all fasteners and have vehicle professionally aligned. Feedback or questions? Visit our online tech forums or our online technical library at bentleypublishers.com.